email. Lucas Matisse is fighting a guy who is undefeated, 38 or no. Who is this guy and why have I never heard of him? Hashtag War Matisse. Well, Lucas Matisse does return on January 27th, 2018 at the Forum in Inglewood, California to face Tewa Kiram for the vacant WBA World Welterweight title. Kiram is the guy you're talking about. 38-0, 28 knockouts. He's only 25 years old and he fights out of Thailand. Now, when I first searched for him, the only name that would come up was Terachi Raiding Den Jim. I know I didn't pronounce that right. That's the guy you're talking about. And the reason you haven't heard of him is because you weren't supposed to. He has an inflated record, a padded record. So if one day, say Top Rank or Golden Boy Promotions or even Al Heyman's pr- Premier Boxing needs an opponent with a good record to face one of their top guys that's returning, such as this. This is a perfect example, such as the returning Lucas Matisse. 90, 99% of the casual fans don't have time to research how this guy got his wins. Let's look at his last five opponents. On July 14th, he fought a guy who was 22 and 11. He won by unanimous decision. On February of last year, he fought a guy who was making his pro debut. Prior to that, he fought on October 13th. The man he beat there had an 18 win, 14 loss, 4 draw, pro record. Before that, he fought a decent guy. 22 wins, 21 wins, 2 losses, 2 draws. And before that, in 2016, he fought on April 28th. He fought a guy named Larry Sue, who had 22 wins and 5 losses. None of these guys have a notable win on their records. None of these guys have or have had notable opponents. And neither has Tewa. 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 He's just a guy to go in there to get beat by Lucas Matisse. So after the fight, the HBO crew can say, He just beat an undefeated fighter. He gave him his first loss. Now as for Lucas, after the win in the Stay Busy fight, the division is owned mainly by Al Heyman and Al Heyman fighters. I don't think Golden Boy is going to go in that direction, especially with a name guy like Lucas Matisse. I mean, one more loss, and I think he's done. Actually, I think he will be done after his HBO contract expires. I believe what's going to happen is they will eventually, I, I believe Golden Boy will eventually move Lucas Matisse up and meet Saddam Ali for his super welterweight title. It, but it'll be good to see Lucas back in the ring because fighting a guy like the one that he's fighting on Saturday, I know he'll look good.